Hey guys, I'm going to go over weatherproofing your IP camera connections today. This is a vital step in ensuring that your new camera system lasts as long as possible. Each IP camera comes with a weatherproof adapter included inside of the box. I like to use these anytime a connection could potentially see any type of moisture. So let's start off by putting the threaded compression fitting on the cable first. Next, we'll use this little tiny rubber fitting. Some of these have slits in them so they can fit over the cable and some don't. So you might need to slice this in order to fit on your cable if it's a pre-made one like this. The last piece is just the other threaded end that'll complete the compression fitting. And these can be a little tricky to fit on to a pre-made cable, but once you do get the orientation right, they do slide right through. Make sure that the rubber seal is seated inside of the fitting like this. And you can go ahead and start threading the cap on. I like to keep this a little bit loose so that I can slide the fitting back and forth as needed. This process is the same if you're using a spool of cable. Install in the same order as the pre-made cable. It's just a little bit easier in my opinion since the RJ45 end isn't crimped on yet, so everything slides on a lot easier. Once the male end of the weatherproof connector is assembled, the last thing we need to do is install this O-ring on the camera's female RJ45 connector. Just make sure that the O-ring is fully seated and you can go ahead and connect the cable and twist and lock the connection and you're good to go. Next, I want to show you guys how to use a junction box. These are totally optional and in some cases make life a lot easier during installation. I like to use these when mounting to brick or cement or stucco because it allows me to drill a much smaller diameter hole through the surface and use the box to keep all of our excess cabling tucked away. We recommend purchasing one of these directly from us since they're custom designed to fit the camera that you're working with. Anyway, let's move on. You'll get screws for mounting the camera to the junction box's cover, as well as anchors and screws to mount to all types of surfaces. Let's go ahead and mount the junction box now. We're going to use the four longer screws that came with the box to mount to the surface. We're going to switch back to the close-up view so that you can see everything a little bit more detailed. Now let's mount the camera to the cover. This box does come with a weatherproof grommet with a pass-through for the camera's harness. Make sure that this grommet gets installed and seated all the way. Once it's seated properly, let's mount the camera to the cover with the included screws. You can use a 3 quarter inch conduit adapter if you want to use conduit to run your cables. For this application, I'm going to be installing the cable from the rear. So we just need to punch a small hole in the rear weatherproofing material to pop the cable through. Depending on the location and the weather conditions you're working with, you could add a little weatherproof sealant to the hole in the rear. You can never be too safe. Connect your camera to the cable and feed all of your cabling into the junction box. Screw it down and you're ready to go. I hope this helps explain how to properly weatherproof your new cameras. If the proper steps are taken, It'll ensure a long-lasting security system. Thanks for watching.